Hello, in this video I am going to cover how to set up and install and create a Cocos 2DX based project with Cocos 2DX on a Windows machine for Visual Studio. If you want to know more about how to do it, let's say on Android for Windows, I'm going to have a video covering that, so feel free to check that out. Or if you are interested in other OSs entirely like Mac and Linux, then I'm going to have videos covering that as well. But if you're interested in setting it up for Windows and to use it in Visual Studio for basically Windows 32 based projects, this is the video for you. Okay, so there's a few things that we need to download. First thing is Python and you just go to the python.org website. I will provide a link to everything that you need. You don't need to manually type it out. Go to downloads. You don't want version three. You want the latest version of version two. And that is version 2.716. So if you click download and scroll down, you want to get the Windows installer. Probably you will just need a 64 bit version, but just to actually confirm, just go to you know your computer it's called this pc now but you know used what used to be called my computer go to system properties i'm trying to increase the size of it and where am i where am i here the system type if it says 64 bit then you want then you want this one if it says 32 bit then you want the bottom one Okay, so I'm selecting 64 bit, it will start downloading. I'm gonna cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Next, you wanna download Visual Studio, and this is free as well. You can just download the latest version of the Visual Studio ID. Just go to community, latest version currently is 2019. This will work for other versions as well. It works from version 2015 onwards, and the latest one is 2019. The reason that I recommend community is because it's you know free to use but you if you have access to enterprise or professional then that is fine uh, well so you literally click community and you get to this website you'll start downloading the exe this is a very small one this isn't actually visual studio this is just an installer which will download everything that you need and then you want to download cocos2dx.org, go to download, go to the latest version, which is 3.17.1. For the newer version, that's fine. Click that. It will again start downloading it. I'm going to cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. So now we can actually start creating and you know setting up cocos2dx. So go to your download folder. And first of all, just double click the Python file. Go to, you won't get this because I've already got it installed. So the screen that you will actually get is something like this. What you wanna do, this will probably be crossed out like so. You wanna say, in make sure entire feature will be installed on local drive. Best thing, just select this and say entire feature will be installed on local drive. Click next. Go through the rest of the process and install it. That's it. That's all you need to do. Just installing the default directory. I've already done it, hence why I'm cancelling it. Um, now, at the end of the actual installation of Python, it will actually say that... No, sorry. The, that's a, a different part of the video. Just bear with me. So now, you want to open up the installer for Visual Studio. This will open it up and you'll, you'll get to the installer part. I'm not gonna make you, you know, sit here and watch me install all of it because I've already got it done. And what you'll have is if you've already got installed, great. If not, you'll have this available section and just install the, you know, the community edition. So basically this one, you just click the install button and that's literally, it. that's all you have to do. That's, you know, that's all you would have to do. And we, obviously I don't need to repair it at all. Oh, no, didn't want to do that. 
Uh, hopefully that hasn't. Hopefully that has not messed up. Uh, hopefully that hasn't messed up my installation. Uh, let's make sure. Okay. Hopefully not. Yeah. Okay. My installation is still fine. That's all good. So obviously you can go to modify. And I just want to show you one thing. So when you go to install it, you'll get this window. And you want to make sure that you have at the very least. Where is it? At the very least, you know, the universal windows platform and the desktop development as well. So you want to just make sure you have both of these two selected. I don't know why this is saying it's not installed because I actually did install it just before. I don't know why. So you just want to make sure you got both of them installed to make sure it's all working. And apart from that, we can actually set up Cocos. So right click the Cocos file, go to extract all, and we're going to extract to here. Click extract. Okay, has that all completed? Nope, not yet. So that is extracting right now. Okay, I don't want you to do the next step. I'm actually going to cancel it and extract it using a different tool, which is a lot faster. If you want to use this, this that is fine. I just showed you how to do it with the built-in tool. So I'm going to use 7-zip instead, which is just going to you know extract it just faster. So if you want 7-zip, feel free to go to the 7-zip website, Google it, and you know, install 7-zip. It's a lot faster and supports a lot more compressed formats. But otherwise, you can use the first method that I showed you, which, yes, is slower, but it's in all Windows versions. So you'll be all good to go without any extra things to install. So now you want to go to this folder, rename it, so it's just cocos 2 dx uh, Capital C is not required, but I'm going to put it, copy that. Go to your local disk C, create a folder called development, and paste it here. Paste that here. So it shouldn't take too long now. Uh, still saying three minutes, that's fine. We'll wait, we can talk it. It'll probably speed up soon anyway. Speeding up nicely, really enjoying the speed increase. Almost there now, a little bit longer. Okay, almost, almost. Few more seconds to go. Okay, so now what you want to do is that we, that's all done now. So we can actually open up command prompt, type in cd, which is chain direct. Drag over this folder, click enter. And now in here, we want to open up the setup.py file. To do that, you type in setup py and this will add the environment variables for cocos console root cocos x root and cocos templates root says is found because i've already you know set it up before we can ignore the ndk root we do not need that we can ignore the android sdk root we do not need that click enter so there are two options here please restart the terminal or restart the computer if you turn you know close down command prompt open it up again and type in cocos if you do not get anything like this if you basically get an error then restart your computer if you don't fantastic 
you, what you will probably get for the first time is just asking you to, you know, accept the terms and conditions. You just literally just type in Y when that comes up and click enter. Um, oh, can't clear it like that here. Do, 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 do. It's not the end of the world. Can I clear it? I forgot to clear. I'll just reopen another one. So what we're going to do is now create a project. So I want to put it on the desktop. And what we can literally do is go to desktop. Uh, actually, we're, we can just type in CD desktop like that. We can create to wherever you want. And now what we're going to do to create a project, type in Cocos new and then you specify the project name so i'm going to say test one two three now put dash l which is the language i'm going to put cpp there's three languages that you can choose from cpp which is c plus plus js which is javascript and lua spelled l u a which is the well lua language so there are other stuff that you can modify here as well like the actual package name all of that stuff but i'm just going to leave it as default as we can change that afterwards you can get more information about the different parameters that you can provide here on the official Cocos website. So if I click enter, you'll start saying copying template and you'll start creating our project. Shouldn't take long, it'll take less than a minute. Once that's done, we can actually run our project. It's a few more seconds to go and then we can actually like I said run it and get the Cocos project all working okay that's all done now so we can close down command prompt and we just want to open up this project go to proj.winfay2 select you know wherever your project was called so test123.sln which is the visual studio solution so double click it it will open it up in whatever version of visual studio you have installed depending on the version you might get this option saying retarget projects that's fine just click ok it's take a couple of seconds to retarget them so it works for our Visual Studio version and now we can ignore these other free projects we don't want to delete them they're just library files for our main project which is test one two three and now we can literally build it so if we build it this will take the first time you do it will take a couple of minutes I would say Afterwards, it won't take that long because the first time it's actually going through every single code file, not our code files, you know, the library code files, which there are hundreds of them, and compiling every single one manually one by one. So, as a result, it takes you know quite a long time. But afterwards, as long as you're not doing a, a rebuild every single time, which is you know an option in the build, as long as you're not doing a rebuild or cleaning the solution and building it. It won't take very long probably take a few seconds just to recompile the files that you have just modified and i'll actually demonstrate that you know in about two minutes once this is complete hopefully it doesn't take too long because i'm running out of things to talk about actually i'm gonna have a sip of tea while we wait oh so okay now hopefully not long now at all oh yeah it is I'm just going to talk about random stuff now it is the 13th of may 2019 and it is 429 currently this video should be uploaded in the next few hours once this is done i've got to transfer the video to an external storage device and afterwards i'm going to do some editing and yeah it'll be uploaded within the next two to three hours most likely definitely today and i've got some other videos to upload as well so yeah cool stuff as usual if you have questions feel free to pop me a message if you have suggestions of other videos that you want to see feel free to pop me a message 
I'll try and accommodate as much as possible. Okay, so it is done now. It is running the project and it will be opening it very soon. And there we go, there it is open. So we can close it. And the code files are in the SRC, which is short for source. And in resource, we don't need to concern ourselves with that. So the two main files currently are the hello world scene.h and the hello world scene.cpp. If I go here and I'll change, because remember, it said. Hello world. I'm going to change it so it says hello world smiley face. Uh, as you'll see, when I click the run button, it will literally just compile and build the hello world scene.cpp that are modified. Nothing else will change and it launches pretty much as instantaneous as you are going to get. And there's some metrics of how it's running on your system as well. Apart from that, that's it. We've set up a Cocos 2DX project on Windows using Visual Studio now. Again, if you are interested in, you know, Android, for example, on Windows, we've got videos covering that. If you want to know about how to set it up on Linux, on Mac, feel free to check out those videos. But if you have any questions about this or anything else code cost related, game or game development related, feel free to pop me a message and I will assist you. And yeah, if you have suggestions for video, feel free to pop me a message. Please, please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you in the next awesome video.